Hey guys, so I'll be doing a review uh, for the Cyanogen mod 12.1 and I'll be doing this review on the Galaxy Nexus, sometimes known as the Google Galaxy Nexus or Samsung Galaxy Nexus and uh, its code name, the phone's code name is Toro, T-O-R-O -O. Um, So let's get started So as you can see here, here's the home screen, you can access the notifications from the home screen and uh, here you can on the bottom here, uh, you have your lock screen widgets, so I can access kick from here, or the camera from here, or if you just scroll up, you can type in your password, and then enter into the phone. So, here's the home screen, and um, in this home screen, you have your regular stock Android home screen with your widgets, like I have the calculator widget here that I can... I can do simple operations on. Let's look at the notifications. So you can you can scroll down twice in the notifications panel, one for the notifications and one for easy access settings, which is actually kind of convenient based on what you want to look at. So if you go to the applications page, um, it's colorful, it's uh, nice. This is what stock Android applications look like. Uh, and everything seems smooth at first, but um, a few months in to getting a uh, Cyanogen mod, you will start to notice that it starts to freeze a lot and stuff like that. So let, let me show you an example. So if you go to a voice recorder, which is by the way an app I downloaded, you go to player and then you start scrolling down. After a while, it just stops. And if you click on this, there's a huge lag it'll take a really really long time to uh, go to the uh, app open applications page where you can close the applications and none of the buttons start to work and the whole phone itself kinda freezes for a while so you can turn it off and now even the off button doesn't work so you're kind of stuck in the situation here and you're you're forced to like wait it out and spend some time with it even though uh you don't have to. So now after a few seconds it finally turned off and you can turn it back on and it says system UI isn't responding do you want to close it? So let's just close it. Okay, it turns off again. Oh great, now it doesn't turn back on. Oh, wait. Yes it does. Okay. So it turned back on so this just basically gave it a fresh start you can start over now um, that must give this a pretty bad impression but uh, for some simple really simple applications such as say a doodle jump it uh, works fine I guess it, it works pretty fine haven't opened the application in wire so it's gonna it's gonna take some time to load but on a normal basis, it should be fine. Okay, so let's exit out of that. Then a voice recorder. Okay, um, let's take a look at the settings. So, uh, Cyanogen Mod settings are basically they're the same Android settings that will be on a regular Android phone. This, uh, but um, the appearance or the skin of this settings application takes the form of the stock Android uh, settings skin instead of like the Samsung or LG, like the Samsung with the circular buttons or LG with the off-on switch. Uh, all the options are pretty much um, generic system profiles users you have multiple users which kind of comes on a lot of phones right now uh... system profiles basically silent vibrate buttons you can you can add the different buttons not the only only these three triangle circle square buttons themes uh... you can change the theme of your uh, Cyanogen mod UI. Uh, the theme I have right now is the default one, but you can get more from the theme showcase. Some of which are paid, some of which are free. 
There's a free one somewhere here. Ah, there's a free one. So, let's go. Cool. Let's exit out that. Okay, so, other than that, all the actual applications work okay. You might not want to run a big application on this phone like Asphalt 8 because, uh, as after some time it'll run fine um in the initial stages it'll kind of crash a bit and stuff like that plus it takes a really really long time to load so let's just exit out of that before we have to go through another freeze come on come on again it takes some time to uh, go into this screen The audio is kind of breaking up too. So let's try to exit out of there. And as you can see, there's a long lag before it actually goes to the screen, and it does, it takes some time to swipe. So, other than the few times, actually many times, I should say, that uh, the phone will freeze, um, the overall experience is good. If maybe maybe it's just my actual phone's fault that it's freezing, I'm not sure. But um, I would I would recommend getting this if you're just a light phone user. If you're gonna play apps that require a lot of RAM and a lot of memory, then I would certainly recommend using your the Android version that your phone came with instead of trying to put a custom ROM on it. Um, also. Uh, I don't want to go into the music app right now, but a word of caution, the music app can often glitch out, and uh, it can still show a notification as music playing when you stop, and sometimes when you want to stop the music, uh, it'll, it won't budge. So other than that, I think it's okay. It's not, it's not that bad of a custom ROM. It'll, it'll, it'll suit all your needs, basically. So, um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you.